Yo, what is going on, everyone in crypto space? Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel today. Really do appreciate it. Now, um, do we have some breaking news? So you guys remember how we've been talking about, hey, you know, the SEC, the U.S. government, and the CFTC really need to get off their rear end and establish some crypto regulation? Well, uh, it's confirmed. Uh, it's proof. It's a. It's from a .gov website, so the credibility is all there. It's a real document. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys because I honestly think this is some serious breaking news. And the the most important piece of this is that if the U.S. federal government is hopping onto this regulation and is driving it forward, uh, absolutely every other country will follow. Because when the biggest economy in the world is uh, drafting cryptocurrency regulation, other countries have to take note. There's just no doubt about it. So. Let's go ahead, let's go and do a little technical analysis, and we'll go ahead and get right into the breaking news. So, XRP, uh, we did break uh, this resistance level right here. Uh, we did break below 38 cents, and we are starting to trend down a bit. Uh, and then now we're starting to go a little bit bullish again. Uh, but we mainly, we did break down, and we're getting into the high 35s range, but we're already back in the 36 range. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm imagining that this is going to be most likely here our new support level, and I was really, uh, honestly, I was kind of expecting, you know, this, this sort of dip to happen, because, you know, after having this massive run-up, I mean, dude, we, we gotta have a pretty good size dip, and retracements are healthy, uh, you know, in bear markets, and honestly, like, it going down, I don't look at that as being a bad thing, because, I mean, look at this big run-up we just had, guys, I mean, look at that. We, we had a decent size run up, you know, we're due for a good size retracement. Uh, so as long as we can find like a pretty, you know, decent support level and just get higher lows, then honestly, uh, it's just looking bullish from here on out, in my opinion. So, um, on Twitter, I did get this uh, tweet sent to me by Brian Noack, so credit to him, and Lee SPQR, they actually did find this document right here, so credit to them. Uh, and if you click on this, man, does this document have some very, very good information. So you can see here at soto.house.gov, this is a government website owned by the federal government, so there's absolutely no questioning the validity of this document. So it says right here, to promote fair and transparent virtual currency markets by examining the potential for price manipulation. Now, first of all, before uh, some of you guys in the comments go, hey, Alex, this, how old is this? Like, how old is this? It's actually from November 13th, 2018. So literally just a month ago. This is not too old. And this is actually just really last month. So this is not, don't go in the comments saying this is old news because I have not seen one YouTuber go over this quite yet. So listen to this. So it's a bill to promote fair and transparent virtual currency markets by examining the potential for price manipulation. Again, this is a full-on bill drafted by the Senate and the House of Representatives. Look at this. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in, con uh, in Congress assembled. And by the way, this they actually have a name for this act. This is a full-on like government bill. This act may be cited as the virtual currency Consumer Protection Act of 2018. I'm kidding you not. In the future, uh, kids in high school will be reading about this in the history books and taking notes on the Virtual Currency Consumer Protection Act 2018 because it's going to drive the living hell out of innovation when the biggest economy in the world is going to the forefront and establishing some infrastructure for regulation. Literally right here, no question about it, it says that this act may be cited as the Virtual Currency Consumer Protection Act of 2018 enacted by the Senate and the House of Representatives. And again, uh, whether or not you find it coincidence that Ripple was just in discussions with the White House about a month ago, that's all That's all for you guys to discuss. Second part here. It is the sense of Congress that virtual currency could have a significant effect on the economy. Oh yeah, when banks are saving 70-90% on transactions and lowering consumer costs, oh yeah, there could be a big effect on the global economy. And regulation of them may be important to protect investors. You know, been a, there have been a lot of bad apples here in the crypto space. I'd say like majority of the projects are bad apples and the developers just, you know, do a funding round, raise a bunch of money, then uh, abandon the project, but don't abandon the cash. They keep the cash and they keep all that capital injection. So there are definitely some bad apples in the crypto space. And that's where I feel like the bad apples in the crypto space are sort of a blessing in disguise. I mean, I know I, it, it sucks that people lose money. I'm not saying that people losing money was a good thing, but having all of these like just outright scams have actually really put cryptocurrency on the government's radar to actually establish some regulation. So let's say if we didn't have all these scams in the crypto space, the government probably wouldn't be hot to get onto regulation. And again, regulation for like Bitcoin and for, you know, privacy tokens, uh, I don't know, regulation can really benefit those, but XRP, 
will 100% benefit from regulations because now these gigantic banks in the U.S. that Ripple is working with, they can now get the get-go to use XRapid and use XRP within their banking system to transfer value cross-border and have no question about it in a legal manner. Because again, businesses, you want to stay away from all legal problems possible, but when good old Uncle Sam's giving you the Virtual Currency Consumer Protection Act, uh, it's really going to help drive XRP into the banking system and allow them to lean in easier because they don't have to worry about the legal aspect of it. So, uh, and regulation then may be important to protect investors, deter bad actors, create market certainty, and ensure American competitiveness in, in, a, in an evolving global marketplace. And again, I like how this act is not just for getting rid of the bad apples. It's also about to ensure American competitiveness in an evolving global marketplace. The U.S. knows that in a lot of these, you know, emerging markets and third world countries, they're really taking kind to cryptocurrency and they're, they're looking to grow their economy based on digital assets. And again, when they do talk about to ensure American competitiveness, huh, who, who are some of the giants that are just so happening to be wanting to get into the crypto space? Ameritrade, Fidelity, uh, the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Nomura Holdings, uh, Northern Trust, Bank of New York Mellon, BlackRock. Yeah, we got some freaking big name institution wanting to get into cryptocurrency and the government wants to ensure that they can keep it competitive so that, you know, old Uncle Sam can get some more tax dollars off of cryptocurrency. And guys, we have some of the largest institutions in the world getting into cryptocurrency platforms. And that is great to see that this bill is not just about protecting investors and deterring bad actors, but it's also to keep America competitive in the blockchain space. Because again, more and more businesses are adopting, are building their business model around blockchain and cryptocurrency. Let's read on. Now this, this is the last part I'm gonna read before we end the video. It's just the most important part here. Um, so not later, this is just basically saying that, yeah, not later than one year after the date of the enactment of this act, the chairman of the uh, CFTC in consultation with the heads of the SEC, the SEC and the CFTC, remember you guys how we've been saying they need to get off their rear end and they need to finally put in some regulation. Well, guess what? They are part of this act, uh, the CFTC and both the SEC and other relevant federal agencies, probably, you know, like the FinCEN and uh, FINRA, you know, those, uh, government, those federal agencies that are more, you know, towards like, you know, fraud and scams and whatnot. Uh, right here, and then to Senate and to promote fair and transparent virtual currency markets by examining the potential for price manipulation, the, the report shall include the following. A brief description of methods by which persons can manipulate the price of virtual currencies. Uh, essentially, they're trying to draft something together to where, like, you know, the, the, the agencies can learn, like, how essentially because my guess is i don't think the regulars like know how crypto works they need to tune into alex cobb and like figure out you know really how does this really work so they want to learn you know methods by which persons could manipulate the price of virtual currencies that's easy just you know God, there's there's countless methods of manipulate cryptocurrency because the market is so immature and unregulated it is just stupid easy to re <laughs> manipulate this market so uh which types of virtual currency if any are more susceptible to, put in, to being manipulated uh, and the effects on, in particular, harm to investors of price manipulation of virtual currencies occurs. Uh, an analysis of the extent to which regulatory authority of the quantity uh, CFTC and other relevant federal agencies lows for market surveillance of virtual currencies uh, for signs of manipulation and enforcement of federal regulations against persons involved in any such manipulation. Recommendations for any legislative changes needed to improve the ability of the CFTC. So it's basically, they're trying to put together a whole sort of playbook of, okay, what are we going to do? How are we going to do it? How are we going to enforce this? And we, they really, what they need to do is by getting this act together, it's going to allow the regulators to finally take some time, do some research and get educated. And they're all going to be discussing with each other and educating each other on how this is going to work, how they're going to regulate it, and how they're going to enforce this regulation. But basically, guys, just to sum it all up, I will leave this link in the description below if you guys do want to go check it out for yourselves. But basically, we're seeing the U.S., the SEC, the CFTC, the Senate, and Congress coming together and putting together the official Virtual Currency Consumer Protection Act of 2018. And this is going to be in the history books because it's going to drive the living hell out of innovation. I'm telling you guys. And plus, they say in this bill that they want to keep the U.S. competitive. They want to have the U.S., you know, be a thriving area for cryptocurrency and blockchain. But the government just wants it done under the right manner. And they do want to get their piece of it for Uncle Sam, of course. Again, guys, we got some massive institutions getting the cryptocurrency platforms. It's no surprise to me that they're drafting a bill. And oh, also, remember the uh, cryptocurrency lobbying group we just had come out a couple months ago? Huh, coincidence that that came out a month before this bill was drafted. Again, politicians need a little money to get some work done. But either way, 
Guys, regulation is coming for the largest economy in the world. And what do other countries do when they see the largest economy in the world take a step forward in regulation? The other countries will follow. And if we have that cryptocurrency regulation in place, that'll allow XRP to be used in banks much easier. And these banks will be able to actually use XRP with absolutely zero legal concerns because now we're going to have the Virtual Currency Consumer Protection Act of 2018. The federal government, CFTC, SEC, the Senate, and Congress are collaborating on a cryptocurrency regulation bill. Seriously, guys, major news, uh, 2019. It's going to be one hell of a year. Make sure, guys, do drop a like on this video. Uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Check the links in the description. You want to get yourself, uh, want to get yourself NanoS. Get a cryptocurrency nice and safe and offline. Uh, and make sure to turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video or stream. All right, guys, seriously, major stuff. We're finally seeing the U.S. start to take action on the cryptocurrency regulation. And the Virtual Currency Consumer Protection Act of 2018 is going to go down in the history books. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in this video. Make sure to let me know, do let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Always do appreciate your insight, and I'll see you guys in the next one.